Hello, uh, we are moving along. We are talking about this second little clause in verse 7. It says, believes all things. Love believes all things. I just want to read it again for you. Love is patient and kind. Did you catch that? Do you remember the teachings on that? Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Believes all things does not mean you're going to be gullible and believe everything everyone says, okay? Uh, even Jesus, it's like the end of John chapter 2, um, uh, he, he knew what was in the heart of man, you know? So he didn't completely entrust himself to, to everybody. Uh, we all know people mean well. But we all know people, not everybody follows through on what they say, okay? And, and we're all guilty to a degree of that. Uh, so what does it mean then that love believes all things? Uh, if somebody says, hey, I need $1,000, can you give it to me? I'll give you it tomorrow, I promise. You know, and, and they haven't given you back the first 50 bucks you lent them. Okay, come on, be, be discerning. That's not something you're going to um, be believing about that person and, and what they share. But... Uh, the thing here is that we're not completely counting people out. Uh, we're going to uh, believe that not, th not that they're a lost cause, but uh, definitely that God can change them, definitely that they can change, definitely that they can transform, definitely that they can grow. Uh, we're not going to count people out. That's not our job. And so no matter how much you pray for somebody, for them to change or to transform or to be saved and they haven't, uh, they're not lost causes. That's not our place to ever put in, in anyone in that category. Amen? Well, we don't do that. Uh, we believe uh, God is good all the time. People change. People grow. God's changed some really wicked and bad people. Um, on a historical scale and uh, has done a lot of good with them. And so we believe, we give benefit of the doubts. Uh, we're not gullible once again. We're not going to be hoodwinked and fleeced, but we're going to believe in, in people in that way, that God can change and grow them. And at the same time, we're going to be discerning, uh, be as shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. Uh, does that make sense? Uh, we need both of that. So um, it's strong language here believes all things but just know in terms of interpreting the bible like i shared in the previous video um if your brother sins against you go to him one-on-one -on -one. that doesn't mean uh, a woman that's abused by her husband that she's just gonna and you know she's bloody and bruised and gonna go to him one-on-one -on -one in a secret quiet place and uh and show him his faults okay that we all know that's not the case we know it's not the case where it says uh oh, we're all gonna rest on sunday or and that means all police officers, all, all doctors, all firefighters are going to be resting on this one day. Uh, we, we know that's not what it means, okay? So we, we have to be discerning and thank God that God's given us a level of common sense and discernment and there's the body of Christ to check back with uh, when, when in doubt. Um, amen? Not just when in doubt, but you get what I'm saying. So yeah, we're gonna we're never gonna count people out. We're gonna believe God can do all things. God can change them. They can change. Great things can happen, and um, I'm gonna try my best to to get their back and uh, to show that I believe in them. Be very discerning on on how and what level, but still, I'm gonna show them the best I can. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll see you in this uh, next video on hope. God bless.